All right, let's talk a little bit. It's a little bit, I think, about chapter, this is 24, chapter 24. We talk about uh, adiabatic process, okay? I'll, I'm reading from the text real quickly. It says, when work is done on a gas by adiabatically compressing it, the gas gains internal energy and becomes warmer. You do work on a gas, it becomes warmer. Make sense? Work is mechanical energy, it's converted to heat. Okay. Uh, adiabatic here it says, when a gas is compressed or expanded so that no heat will enter or leave the system, the process is said to be adiabatic. So the gas that you're compressing is the system. People say, well, it's not adiabatic because the gas is getting warmer. Well, you're defining the system as the gas that you're compressing. Clear? Yes? So let's talk about this briefly. This is really kind of cool, actually. This is really kind of cool. And I spoke about this. Let's talk about, it says here, okay, remember one kilometer, 10 degrees Celsius, okay? So let's say, this is the Rocky Mountains here. Those are the Rocky Mountains. And here is the great plains. Okay? Yes? Big difference. Big difference. So let's say, let's say there's 5,000, 5,000, 4,000 meters. Okay? So... If I have a cloud up here, and I bring that cloud down so it gets progressively smaller, okay, it gets progressively smaller, every thousand degrees, so let's say this is 4,000, 4, 4 kilometers, this is going to be 3 kilometers, this is 2 kilometers. This is one kilometer. And then you have the Great Plains, okay, which is down the bottom, okay? Are we all right with that? Yes? Rocky Mountains high, four kilometers above the Great Plains. Is that all right? You all right with that? Okay. Now, if this is going to be negative 15 degrees Celsius, this is going to be what? It's going to be, is it going to be warmer or is it going to be cooler? It's warmer. Why is this cloud becoming smaller? Uh, pressure. Pressure. The man says pressure. Excellent. Pressure. The greater the pressure, yes, the greater the pressure, smaller. the greater the temperature, the smaller the volume, right? Okay. So, it's actually per kilometer, per kilometer, it's 10 degrees Celsius. Clear? Yes? Okay, so this is going to be negative 5 degrees Celsius. This will be 0 degrees Celsius. This will be 10 degrees Celsius. Yes? What, did I make a mistake? 15. Negative 5. Negative 5. 5. Thank you. I knew I was wrong here somewhere. So what's that? F positive 5, right? That's positive 5. Positive 15, and then positive 25 on the ground, right? Positive 25 is pretty nice. Pretty nice temperature. What do you think that is, about 70, 75, 72? Somewhere in the 70s. It's pretty nice. It's nice temperature. So if it's really high in the mountains and it's really cold, when you get down to the lowlands, very cool. Very nice. Nice. And that's what happens. You get this adiabatically engineered system, engineered by the atmosphere because it's shrinking it, so it's being adiabatically compressed, right? I'm adiabatically compressing this, this, large, this large air mass. It says right here, remember? We're going to come full circle to what I said. Do you, do you see 
that I'm adiabat I'm compressing this air mass adiabatically because it's not leaving the system, it's staying in the air mass. And it says, when work is done on a gas by adiabatically compressing it, the gas gains internal energy and becomes warmer. Easy? So, so that whole section on 24.3 is going to be very important. And the name of this process, the name of this process, see, Europeans and people around the world have never heard of this, ever. It's called the Chinook. Chinook. Strictly a North American term, the Chinook. And the Chinook is when air from the mountains, weather moves from, this is California, New Jersey, Rocky Mountains, Great Plains. Weather moves from west to east. Yes, you also have southerly flows, etc. but basically west to east, okay? Weather starts here, it's going to end up over here somewhere, okay? When a Chinook is when weather that moves from west to east, as it moves west, as it moves, sorry, east from the Rocky Mountains, Rocky Mountains are west of the Great Plains as it moves to the east and loses altitude, the air becomes adiabatically compressed and warm. So, it could be, you could be having a blizzard in western Colorado, and at the same time, you could be having people sunbathing in Nebraska in the winter. Not all the time. Interior continental areas generally have what kind of temperatures each season? Moderate or extreme? extreme. Very extreme. If it's the winter, you can bet that Nebraska is going to be very cold. If it's summer, you can bet that Nebraska is going to be very hot. Very hot. This whole Chinook thing is just, is just magnified in the summer. My brother got married in 1987 in Lincoln, Nebraska, which is very green. There's two things about Lincoln, Nebraska. It's green, and there's a lot of corn. If you don't like green, you don't like corn, don't go to Lincoln, Nebraska. And it was 106 degrees in the afternoon, in the shade. It was awful. Humid. So in the summer, it can be, you know, the Chinook thing is, is even worse. But I think one of the nicest places is New Jersey because it has nice mild, it has mild, winters, and mm, for maybe about three weeks in the, in the summer, it gets kind of cranky, right? When I was a kid, you never had temperatures in the 90s in New Jersey. Never. Never. We have a lot more of them now, but when I was a kid, we never had them. Ever. So you know what? Um, I'm going to quit. I will make some more on Monday, and you guys should be cooking. This will give you a very, 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 very good leg up for your text ne test next Friday and your quiz on Wednesday. But I am burnt. Got to go home. All right? Excellent.